Five tips to avoid getting caught in a Cyber Monday scam. You know, I've made it very clear that I dislike all the, the madness on, on um, <laughs> Black Friday about the idiots that go act like complete animals to save $15. I, I, you know, a lot of times all these sales, I proved it to my wife last year that all these sales tend to still exist a week later. Same thing with these Cyber Mondays. All the sales continue. It's not like they actually take these damn things away. You know what I'm saying? It goes on for the whole holiday season. But anyway, let's look at it. Those avoiding Black Friday madness in the hopes of snagging a deal out of the comfort of their own home on Cyber Monday might not be completely out of the woods in terms of safety. Cyber safety, that is. By the way, this is by Liz Klimas over at The Blaze. It is expected that cyber criminals will steal up to $5.4 billion in credit card and person personally identifiable information this holiday shopping season. Scaring, yeah, no shit. And all you, all you bums out there stealing shit, let me make this clear. Get a fucking life. Get a job. Do something. You know what I'm saying? Find you a boyfriend or girlfriend. Find you someone. Seriously. That could, um... Do something, but quit stealing. Ain't nothing worse than a damn thief in the night type of person. I can't stand you. I think you should be brutally executed. Scammers use many techniques to defraud customers. From phishing emails, offering too good to be true deals on brand name merchandise, to offering quick cash to victims who will reship packages to additional destinations. Previously reported scammers Previously reported scams are still being executed today, the FBI stated as a warning. Yeah, and, and, and this should be to all you ladies out there. Because the people that tend to fall for these the most is the ladies. Most of us men are pretty pretty uh, skeptic about stuff that we see online or just stuff in general. I've heard my wife come to me a million times with these damn scams. Not just that, but the telemarketing scams too. Ron Schlett, co-founder of B2B security, email to Blaze a few tips to protect your finances and identity. So listen up, people. Here's some tips. Number one, if the deal is too good to be true, it probably is. Yeah, no kidding. It's like it's like meeting a fine woman. Then you, you get with her and you marry her. Then you realize she's nasty as shit at home. Don't cook, don't clean. And then she gets all um, gross on you. You know what I'm saying? Or as a crazy ass attitude. You, know, you, you take home that beautiful looking woman and then she goes crazy. Then she takes you for everything you got. Let's be, let's be smart. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. The old adage remains true for online shopping. Take a breather, step away from the computer and do some comparison shopping. Don't get caught up in getting that deal. It may turn out to bite you. Yeah, no, no kidding. Number two, know who you're dealing with. Quick research and reviews about the site give you insight into how they conduct business and how trustworthy they are. Again, online shopping is not like the pushing and shoving that goes on in the store. Take your time. Be confident in the retailer that you're buying from. Exactly. Do your, do your homework, ladies and gentlemen. Know who you're dealing with. Go to reputable sources. Do, look, check with the Better Business Bureau. Do all that. I don't just order stuff online from any, you know, website that pops up. Number three, be stingy. Exactly. Be a man. About how your payment information is recorded and transmitted. Look for HTTPS in the prefix of a web address or the lock icon in the status bar of your browser. This should be a deal breaker immediately. This is bare minimum protection for online shoppers. Yeah, exactly. Be smart. If you don't know about computers, don't shop on computers. Don't put your information on computers. If you don't know how to tell the difference in a decent site, take the card away from that woman right now. Number four, pay with a credit or charge card. They still offer the best protection for online fraud. That is true. Because it can't your debit card goes straight to your actual money. Even better, if your card offers the option to create a one-time card number, use those for each purchase online. To ensure that your real card does not get abused. 
Do not purchase anything with a wire transfer. Money orders are also like cash and don't offer any buyer protection. Your credit card company or bank will actually fight the seller if you are ripped off or if the card account info is compromised. Number five, check your financial accounts regularly. Now, I want to say this. As an adult, who doesn't keep track of their finances? If you don't, you're truly an idiot. I mean, a fucking idiot. You should be checking your finances daily, especially if you leave and, and all that. You know, you'd be surprised how much those Starbucks coffees and, and Burger King at lunch break will ca catch up. you got to budget your money. Anyway, check your financial accounts regularly to verify all activity. We should all be doing this anyway, exactly, but during heavy spending times, heavy, it is more critical. Reconcile what you bought with what you paid and ensure everything is received. You can check out the U.S. Computer Emergency Readiness Team for more resources to avoid getting scammed this holiday season. And ladies and gentlemen, I, I truly hope it does not happen to you. Um, it's very simple, man. Open your eyes. Be conservative. Conservative, and, I, and I'm not saying that because I'm a, I'm not a conservative. Actually, I'm not a liberal either. But, but financially, we should all fiscally be conservative. There's no doubt about it. If not, you're gonna end up screwed, broke. Then your wife's gonna leave you for some other man who's not broke, even after she's the reason you got broke. A little humor there, but it's the truth. Now let's go ahead and move on. I appreciate y'all listening, man. Make sure you subscribe, like the videos, whatever. With that being said, I'm King Gunner. I'm out of here, man. See you next time.